Well, welcome back, and today I got another use filters for you. They're not all the same type, of course. I got two bold ones and the orange can extra guard frown. This one could be special. So stay around for that one. That frame could be pretty special. This is the filter that came off the Subaru Forester I'm working on. And we'll get into that. Yeah, that's pretty sludgy. We'll take a closer look at that though later. Uh, this one, B37. That goes to my wife's friend. Uh, it is a 2005 Toyota Camry with the 2.4 engine in it. Now, I'm pretty sure the mileage around in that for this oil filter was around 5,000 because we tried to get her to change it around 5,000. I don't have exact numbers, so it should be around 5,000. If I find out more, I'll write it up in the description. This one, B... 1402 comes off of a Mitsubishi Eclipse with the V6. Ah, don't know the year. Might have to write that up in there too. But as you can see, these two are quite different, even though they look about the same, right? Well, this one's flat inside. This one has, it's got a cone type head on it. So they're, they're quite different, I'm sure. Uh, this one for the uh, Mitsubishi, I just like saying that name, Mitsubishi, is uh, around 7,000, I believe, kilometers. Uh, the young man who works with my wife uh, owns that vehicle named Reed. Uh, what can I say? He works with the wife, and he's also part owner of the business. So, a very, very nice young man. I like him a lot. So, yeah, that's the B1402, and yes, the good old Fram orange can. Hmm. Uh, we'll talk about that one in a minute. You don't want to know what kind of oil came out of that. Yeah, it was oil still, but it looks like it may have just come right out of the ground. It was a little sludgy. So, I do know that he used conventional oil. The young man I bought the car off. He pretty well used conventional oil on it, I was told. So, uh, we're going to start with the B37 uh, Baldwin. Take that apart and we'll see how good uh, my wife's friend's vehicle is actually doing. I hope it's doing fine. It is a nice car. Very well looked after. Um, I don't mind working on it. Like I said, it's a nice car. So, let me get this all set up, get her taken apart, and we'll take a better look at it. Well, I just think maybe I should let you get a look at the date code on here. Wow, what a number on there. Can you see it? I hope you can. I don't want to read it. It's so long. Hopefully, you can get a look at that date code. And this one is for the Toyota Camry. Ah, come on. There we go. Oh, that was a pain to get off. Uh, this one's probably well used, I gotta admit. Uh, 5,000, maybe more. My guess would be more. I didn't take a good enough. But we, we're, we're, we took a good enough look at it now. On her much. Okay. Always oh, gotta love the spring in Baldwin's. Good can. Very nice. Um, seems pretty heavy. But uh, I only did drain this for one day. We're going to see, though, the difference between uh, this uh, B37 and the B1402 while we do this, too. Because they seem to have differences. Uh, it's got lovers in it, so it is a lover type filter. And, hmm. You know, Looks fine, mostly, doesn't it? I don't see any... Uh, it didn't deform too much. And yes, we use synthetic oil in this vehicle. 
So this vehicle does have synthetic oil in it all the time. So let me give her a cut open and we'll get back to her. So there we go, I got her cut open. There's the inside and eh, lovers eh, seem to work. At least that's what I'm guessing. Everything seems fine inside these Baldwin filters. Now let us take a look. Ooh. We do have in the valleys some metal pieces. I don't know if you can see that piece right here where my thumb is. There's a piece there. But it's not too serious, but there is quite a bit of darkness, like carbon and stuff. This engine does have over 300,000 kilometers on it too, so maybe it could use a good, I don't know. It's, it's a country car, so it, it travels long distances. But overall, it looks pretty good. I don't think there's anything wrong with this car or anything like that. I think, and it sure feels like it still drives like brand new. I gotta admit that. I drove that car last night. It, it's still got a lot of gusto and, and get up and go. It's a nice car. Those Camrys were built good back then. Now we're gonna take a look at the B1402. So we can take a look, cut it open, and get a good look at how well this one was in there a little longer, I'm sure. Maybe a little too long. Don't know, but we'll see. And uh, hopefully, uh, it looks just as good as the Toyota one. I'll get her cut open. There we are, I got the P or the B1402 cut apart. Uh, let's see what we got here. Got a little crud in there. That's probably not a good thing. This oil may have been in here a little longer than it should have. It looks like we got a little bit of, oh, that's glue. That's glue. Oh, 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 oh we're gonna have to get that out somehow. So we got a lot of grime down there. This is in the Mitsubishi Eclipse filter. It's pretty, pretty dirty. I don't know what kind of oil he used in this, uh, in this car, but um, there is hardly any difference between the filters in the uh, B37 and this one. Just actually, probably just the the base housing seems slightly different. This seems like almost the same filter. But I'm going to cut her open and see what she looks like inside. So there we go. I got her cut apart. Um, we do have some metal flake in here. That's probably not something he wanted to hear. Um, got some metal flake. Got some other types of things in here and it seems crusty I don't know if that's something but it, we got kind of quite a few sparkles in here maybe doing an oil change a little sooner might help got a big piece there if you can see it yeah you can see it there so yeah we got some stuff in here you might want to change the oil a little sooner and I don't know if he's using synthetic. I'm guessing he is. I don't really know. But 7,000, uh, maybe you should use, you know, start changing it a little sooner. That's all. And now to the star of this video. Now we're going to get a look at this. Do you see this? This is sludge. Look at it. All of this is sludge inside this filter. It's horrible. That is so sludgy in here. I'm going to wipe off some of it to show you that it actually does. So, that black sludge is terrible stuff. That's probably why the oil that came out of it uh, was coming out so slow and seemed to have a consistency uh, but, uh, I must say it seemed to be more molasses-y. Is that a new word? I don't know. 
seemed to be more thick than what it should have been, even for conventional oil. So I'm going to cut her open and we'll get a look inside this one. So let me just say, if this oil filter lasted through the torment that it took in that Subaru engine, not to say anything about the last owner, not to say anything about the previous owners, it's, it's what it is, um, uh, then I should not say anything more bad about these filters, right? Because if you saw that oil, what it came out like, and how sludged up this thing is, if this thing is still working, I shouldn't say anything about having the uh, fiber end caps. I should. I should just let that alone and just live with it. All right, let's take her off. Oof. Yeah. She's pretty, pretty bad. Well, pretty bad as in... Can't see anything bad about these silicone. Uh, the silicone. This thing is still awesome. Look at this sludge in here. Ah, I've never seen oil this bad in a car. I'm actually happy still I bought that vehicle. This gives me a chance to, you know, do some stuff. Um, wow. Look at that. She is called a sludge factory. That whole engine is probably just a sludge factory. But, um, did it clog up? Uh, you can see where some of them are bent. Probably it was sucking real hard. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to get my flashlight so I can take a look, better look at this. Well, at least the star of the show here didn't disappoint. This thing is completely... I don't know. Let us take our flashlight. Stick her in here. Can I see any light coming through here? No. That's probably because the oil is so dark. It filled all the holes. <laughs> she is pretty, pretty bad. So, let us take off this end piece here. I don't know if I've ever seen sludge so bad in an engine. It excites me to work on this thing now. Kind of gives me that purpose. And I don't see any reason that this thing ever opened. Oh, maybe because it was... That is strong. Oh, right. Subarus have a stronger... Uh, I guess a release valve. I, that's what I've been told. So, uh, it probably didn't open. Um, wow, this stuff is... You know, this fiber end cap is like solid rock. Wow, it is solid on there. Not a fiber anymore. It's been... That ain't fiber at all anymore. That's as solid as metal. Hey, I think we've got it. Let the filters stay in long enough so that the... Okay, that came off of the paint over here. Let the end caps stay in long enough so that they uh, become fused together so tightly. Well, that came off really easy that they're almost like metal now. Wow. This thing is so hard. I mean, this is... Like, I don't want to cut this on camera just in case I cut my hand off and you guys would have to see that. Well, there's a fiber end cap. Oh, she snaps just like she's, she's plastic. Wow. I got a feeling these were in here a while. Because that ain't working like fiber no more. That's carbonite. That's turned into carbonite. Uh, yeah. Carbonite. That's the way Han Solo was in that movie. You know which one. Yes. We all know Return of the Jedi. At least I hope we do. Well, let's check the outside. Oh, by the way, this filter is so stiff. 
this thing probably is absorbed uh, that's it it can't absorb no more hmm. I see a lot of sludge and stuff I don't see any metal there's no metal in here at all I can't see any of course it could be covered up by sludge but uh, oh, I'm taking that engine out anyways and uh, get her all cleaned out do a lot of work to it you know project car yeah it takes time to work on stuff I don't see anything wrong with this filter though I mean I don't see any metal in it I see lots wrong with it but you know this thing held together and these end caps turned almost as strong as as metal so hmm I am actually impressed with this a little bit so I, I'm not changing my mind too much on uh, good old Fram extra guards but hey it's uh, done what it's done <laughs> that's kind of kind of amazing what it has done it actually was still filtering it looks like because if you look there's still fresh oil on the on the uh, back side of this like of course it could have been running through the I don't think that's open though so wow I am amazed now what can you say um there we go I took apart three use filters again uh, took a good look at the insides of them can tell that the first one here you can see it's lighter not as dark the second one a little longer 7,000 and then we get to the Fram one which he, she's pitch black and full of sludge so there you go we have the life cycle of about 5,000 about 7,000 and about uh, umpteen thousand right here but uh, what can I say I think uh, this is gonna be a fun project and uh, I'll continue on with that Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll bring you another great oil filter review very soon.